Here's a picture. You, oh, oh, you. you want to watch these young girls saying that they love Trisha? You oh, oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, you. I just think it's sad. What'd you say? I think it's sad. That the girls like her? Yeah. Yeah, it is sad. The magic, because they, they're going to be like, I want to be Trisha when I grow up. Which means they have horrible parents that if they think that that's okay to be. Like, could you imagine your daughter? I want to be Trisha. No, no more phone. No more internet. <laughs> that's the response to that. It's just like, it's funny because I grew up, I loved Anna Nicole Smith. And like, mm -hmm. I remember Trisha from when I was little as like reminding me of Anna Nicole. Yeah, but that makes sense. And like well, I wanted, wanted to be, she wanted to be Anna Nicole. No? But that's the thing. I think. Well, yeah, I believe so. But I think that there's like an issue with like the depth of how much someone likes to wants to be like someone. Mm, like I thought Anna sense. Nicole Smith was beautiful, so I wanted to be like her. And like even when I was 18 for prom, I brought pictures of Anna Nicole Smith to right. like ask the girls to do my hair like hers. Yeah, but I, but, but Trisha, Trisha, like I was saying before, sorry. has no sense of self. And is literally just trying to like stay like as a hot topic. So like for young, I don't understand sense. why girls would like Trisha like the like the way or woman whoever. I don't know why anyone would like Trisha. It's like a pipe to such a degree of like praise because like there's nothing to praise because there's no real like personality or anything that goes with it yeah right it's like it's you know very, what i'm saying i understand it's almost like a funnel it's very interesting it's like i like that person that pretends to be everything else yeah like what it's if like you I, admire her because of let me think of like, like a phase like if you <laughs> admire her um there's so many i can't even well she's one. a beautiful bbw trans queen though if you admire her because she identifies as a trans man, yeah, that's not one of her main identifiers anymore. So like she loses that thing that you yeah, admire that her makes for. Sense, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I think it would be very. If she, I honestly do feel like if she truly was a, like a trans man, why would like honestly why not do some OnlyFans porn like that? Just not all the time, but like if it's your identity, why wouldn't you open up a little bit and do something like that? Well, like I said before, I think that. Thank you so much for the donation, by the way, uh, VWE. I don't know. No, what were you saying before? No, I like. She would have a lot more um, validity to her, and I think more acceptance if she like spoke about things as exploring them. Yeah, yeah, that made no. That makes sense. Like I'm trying. Oh, oh, I'm exploring my identity, my trans identity, or I'm exploring. Um, I don't know, but I get what you're saying. That makes a lot of sense to me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, look at them. These kids are taking. I wonder how much she did pay these kids. I really do wonder how much. I mean, kids are dumb though. Yeah. We were we were at a family party yesterday, and all these kids were making TikToks. <laughs> and I'm sitting here, and I'm like, you know, I used to have two and a half million followers and verified. I did get banned. That's a story for another day for people who don't know. But I, I that's just like weird, dumb kids. What are you doing? They'll never be famous because just a bunch of kids, you know. I'm cool though, so I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was just a jarring experience. Um, there's Trisha. She's not out and about as a labeling as a trans man though. I'm surprised about that. I don't. I hope I'm not coming off as transphobic. I'm just making fun of Trisha. Okay. Well, I, there, there's some audio. Yeah, how are you? Okay. I just don't know what part of Holly. Like, I mean, dude, look at the moms taking a picture. Is that the mom? Come on, you idiot. What are you doing? You're poisoning your daughter. Here's a picture of Trisha and a baby doll. I'm assuming this is a new coping mechanism that she's going to be claiming. <laughs> Guys, I got this baby doll because this baby represents me when I was uh, something when in the past. That's probably what it, I f guarantee that's going to become part of our identity. She's turning into like a wrestler that uses props. There was like a wrestler who was married to a mop. I was. I, just, I don't know why that came to my head. Trisha is like the uh, is like the modern kids that identify as trans for a week of retention. Yeah, no, and I find that's true. There are there. When I was in school, we were a lot of us would identify with music groups. Like that's what we would gatekeep. Um, like I was like metal. I was all about like progressive metal, and I was like, oh, new metal isn't real. All this other shit. I think nowadays, <laughs> I, that's what I was. I think nowadays people are, and, and there was a lot of people who were like, I'm bisexual when they weren't. The issue with it is that like. As a kid, like you explore who you are, and I think that there's been more emphasis 
um, in more recent years to like strongly identify within something rather than explore. That's a good point. You know, too. like there's no more of like, oh, like I think I may like girls. So like maybe I'm bisexual right now. Now it's like Very I sad. am a demisexual lesbian. Yeah, yeah. It's you the know, kids and there's these yep. absolutes. And like even like I used to like heavily identify like within the LGBT community. And like I was probably fucking annoying in college well, because are, yeah. I was always, you know, if we had a girl group discussion i always brought like the lgbt perspective mm -hmm. and like that's that's probably annoying well maybe but i don't focus on that so much i focus i think that you make a good point like what kids i'm are, saying though is exploring. that i think that there's over identification yes, yeah, nowadays yeah. No, kids where you're the anymore. way that you identify takes over who you are as a person and frames every single like perspective yeah, you make all your life decisions that about you have mm -hmm. and i think that that's what trisha does to like an extreme extent mm -hmm. and like the difference is is that like she's not like a 16 year old kid that's just learning that like just because you have like a vagina doesn't mean you have to be all these things or yeah i get what you're because saying. you have a vagina doesn't mean you're a girl trisha's what is she 33 years old yeah right and not, not right, saying yeah, that yeah. people can't explore those things later in life but she's not exploring them in the a mature way, way she's just decided she's a thing Mm -hmm. And that's it. And that is a problem because, and again, it happens in school. Like people overly identify. I did it too, overly identify. But kids are exploring, you know, you're kind of expected to do that. They should do it in more of an exploration way. Like you don't have to be like a non-binary this that you could explore your identity and just kind of feel yourself out comfortably. But I think that kids are really toxic in general. Uh, and it does, it, it kind of just ruins the, that social experience because kids are little assholes. Yeah. I hate kids. I can't wait to have kids with you though. I know. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Then there's somebody frying bacon. New griddle cooks bacon perfectly. Okay. I'm so hungry right Fry, now. Yeah, I got some bacon for you. Okay. Um, are we into the Ray Dunn hype, or is it just a little weird side of TikTok I'm on? Uh, I don't care. Shut up. It looks basic as fuck. I don't know what that is. Let's see. This says, the email meant the world to me. Thank you. Uh, I don't know what the first part says, but outside looking in, it seems like there isn't a healthy enough of a balance between your personality and internet life. That's true. Through all the hate, there's a lot of people out there who still want to see you do well. I am not one of those people. I honestly wasn't listening. <clears throat> okay. Read it. Sorry. Start here. Read that. Now, now I'm the teacher. Read it. Through all the hate, there's a lot of people out there who still want to see you do well. No matter what goes down, no matter how much hate there is, no matter how much you can get in your own way. I don't know. I feel like I didn't read that well. I still see a human being on the other side of my screen. So for your own sake, just take a vacation. I Finish an whatever project, project you got going on and go somewhere alone for a bit. Or with Moses. If oh, he's my free. God. You but, so ugly. I was going to play that. And I accidentally people. Oh, my God. God damn it. Sorry, go ahead. I didn't mean to just play it. But just take a break from all the bullshit, bro. And I don't even see it as silencing yourself or worrying who will be there when you get back. You owe yourself peace of mind. I apologize for the directness and sending you an email you didn't ask for. But to me as a viewer, you're a homie. And I help the people I care about. In times where you're the butt of the internet jokes or your non-filter ranting or self-sabotaging or doing well and cook cooking with moses i just want to see you be okay i'm not always going to be like this fam i hope it all gets better have a good day i feel like that's really downplaying that she's the butt of a joke when you said that uh, she's a beautiful person or whatever i wanted to play this my god part. you oh my god you oh. so ugly you we've already played like six times put the headset on oh my god you so ugly, you look like an extraterrestrial from the Monkey Way Galaxy. Oh, that's so God funny to me. Damn. That's just so funny to me. I'm sorry. It's just a meme. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. I guess that means the world to Trisha. Whatever. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow has some... Hated artist you what the recognize. fuck is happening right now? These paintings make my corn... Okay, I accidentally did something. Having a rough day today, boys <clears throat> and girls. Did you stop the stream? I don't think I stopped the stream. I think I accidentally closed out like the stream thing. Uh, 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 okay, it doesn't matter. It is what it is. Um, hopefully the stream's still going.
Anyway, she sent herself an email. That's honestly probably why. Uh, anyway, looks like suspicious. Oh, what does that say? It looks like, uh, love this kind of support and positivity. I don't care. You are the pig. Bet you cook nicely. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um i don't want her to i don't want her to be gone forever i like trisha only because i it's something to talk about i'm just being honest no like i said before like i if she like admitted to doing like all that she has and like becomes truthful and authentic i like trisha she when you're, we, you're asking for pigs to fly here, literally. Baby. <laughs> like when we started watching Frenemies, <laughs> we were like, oh, like we like Trisha. And then I forget what episode of Frenemies it was. And then we were like, no. I, I, I remember I remember the episode I stopped liking Trisha a lot. And I actually stopped liking Ethan. <clears throat> so <sighs> all right. I remember the, it was the episode where Trisha walked away after calling Ethan, um, Ethan's uh, Ela, Hila, Ela. I don't know. A cunt and a bitch and a bad mom and a bad parent. That that was when I really and she talked it. about his drug use. Like, yes, forever ago. yeah, that was before that. I didn't. I actually, that's probably when I stopped liking Trisha more when she did that. It was gross. But the second part, it really fucked me up because and like I guess it's unfair to Ethan, but I have you know me. Um, I have very like I have specific very strong like moral values in some areas where if somebody doesn't adhere to that I don't like them and somebody criticizing your your spouse or your significant other to they, that extent of saying they're a bad parent because they got a babysitter and because they fucking are they're calling her those rude words that upset me that Ethan didn't actually <laughs> What? I'm sorry I'm laughing. It just like it becomes her. funnier because like she told <laughs> Ethan and Ela that they're bad parents, yet she just told the whole world that like she was getting molested throughout her whole adolescence and her mom didn't do anything about it. <laughs> like oh so how God, are you gonna say so, that like so they're harsh. bad people? Oh, that's harsh. You know what I'm saying? You know I do, especially since she especially since that she said that she went to court for the molestation at one point and her mom didn't um, force the school to get her out of the class not for teacher, nothing she said that happen, like a probably. judge blamed her as a six-year-old my mom would have been in jail for assaulting a judge yeah that's true yeah trisha tried to say you know? like oh. so like if you uh, she's just so ass backwards it that it's ridiculous oh, it's yeah no that makes it like that's true i so she made there. She's like the judge didn't believe me, which might happen. I mean, kids might not get believed, but the, there's no, there's no fucking. I just don't believe that a judge is like, oh, it was your fault you got assaulted. A judge would be like, okay, a judge may you. not convict the person who was accused or actually they may, did they may be predatory, likely not predatorize to. a child. Yeah, but, but like, not there gonna, no judge is gonna sit in a courtroom and say this six year old turned on this grown man and it was their. It's fault. there. It's your fault for being six and turning on a thirty year old. There's no judge in the world that would say that. They would be like, okay, thank you for like your testimony. We really appreciate it. They were very nice to kids in court, and then they would move on. But that's not what they were talking about. Um, so, like, the mom, I would, like, yeah, I would have fucking blew up in court and said, what are you talking, if they bl actively blamed my kid? This is what you do. You grab the, you grab the security guard's gun. Stop. I'm just kidding. Or am I? I'm just kidding. I'm just making it, I'm making a little joke. I would follow the guy home. Okay. Mm. I'm just kidding. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get, oh, I guess that's, we, we did it. I'm so over it. <laughs> You're, it's so, so I was, that, I actually was enjoying it because I was reading. You just zoned out. What were you thinking about when you zoned out? I was reading the chat. Okay. And yeah. I was thinking about, I don't know what I was thinking about. I think I was thinking about Trisha stuff, but not this. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. So we got through that. I don't, hopefully there's no more tweets. We'll do a little refresh. Of, okay. It's just some comic book thing or album. I'm not even going to read it. Uh, do you want to watch this glitter baby weird shit here? I minutes. love you. A uh, four minutes. It's four minutes. I'm gonna play it on 25% increased speed. I'm just curious as to what she's doing. Okay, I'm gonna play it on 25% speed so that it takes us like 10 minutes to, or an hour to watch it. I'm just kidding. Can you hear this? Hey everyone, happy. You can hear that. Let's see if we could turn her up, or we're gonna have to speak like this. Wow, Trisha, you're such a bad person. Fuck you, bitch. Because she's very low in the video. Sunday, wanted to introduce you to a very special new family member, and that's Glitter Baby. 
fucking family member. <laughs> oh, I hate her. I hate her so much. I just hate her. <laughs> you don't like the baby? It looks her. just like Trisha. It's just got, keep fucking playing. It's got it. blue hair and blue eyeliner. It's an overly sexualized child. It's Trisha. <laughs> well, I'm so sorry. That was intense. That was intense. But that <laughs> that's what she dis displays herself as. I'm sorry if that was too much for you guys. And they are an Icelandic icicle. They and, are. And we will let them choose their gender oh when they God. get a little older. But for now... Are you listening to this? She said that... What is she... It's like an Icelandic baby? And they are... An Icelandic icicle being, and we will let them choose their gender. Wait, but then if it, how are you gonna say they're an Icelandic icicle thing, and then you're telling them that they're an you're, icicle? I'm not telling you that you're a boy or a girl, but you're, but a, fucking you're a fucking icicle. icicle. <laughs> it's like you know, pick <laughs> pick one. Either let your baby figure out its gender, and figure out if it's an icicle, or you can't, or or both. You know what I mean? Like I, it's it's, just, it's fucking ridiculous. When they get a little older, but for now, Coda Baby is here, and I'm super excited about them, and I just feel like we're gonna bring each other a lot of joy. Um, I'll probably go out and run some errands today, so be sure to follow my Instagram. Is she gonna take it out with her to run errands? <laughs> Imagine just, her walking around with that. <laughs> okay, just like level with me here. Get a fucking dog. <laughs> Get a dog. It'll actually probably be good for you. It'll actually be an true. emotional support animal. Yes. It will give you actual, like, genuine love, and you will have to have responsibility and take care of, of something. That's get a true. fucking dog. Why do you have to get a fucking children's dog? Yeah, and you want to know what? The dog won't care if you dress it in, like, boy or girl clothes because it has no concept of gender. So you can make it whatever gender you want. It's just, I, I can't. But what, but what do you, but the question here is, what do you do for the dog? Because that dog is gonna uh, be go crazy. Imagine being Trisha Paytas's pet. That's fine. I don't care. Oh, you don't care about animals. No. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. I'm Trisha Paytas back up from me and Glitter Baby's outing. So, yeah, that's so cute, right? Yay. <laughs> Let me know if you think that Glitter Baby should have a different name. I kind of like the Glitter Baby because when I had a Mice. Well, I honestly think that you should let the baby get old enough to make its own choice on what it should be named. She's holding it on her hip and rocking it like it's a fucking baby. <laughs> it's a, I just, I hate Like, when so you say much. rocking it, do you mean, like, rocking it? Or, like, rocking it like it's a fucking watch? Like, check out my watch I'm rocking. <laughs> <laughs> it's like she's rocking the baby. It's like, look at me, guys. I'm fucking, I've, I've gone off the goddamn deep end. This is the new arc where she has, like, a baby. It's an emotional support baby. That's everything she wanted to be when she was younger. I just, I hate this. It's, I think this I've, is I've, like, funny. I've never... I've never hated a Trisha video more, honestly. I hate <laughs> this. I love it when you're on stream with me. This is my favorite thing. I have my space. We had, like, back in the day. <laughs> my MySpace was called Grindhouse Barbie. So, yeah, not like the drug, but like the Quentin Tarantino movie Grindhouse. Well, no, I just said that was like GHB. <laughs> but I don't want to call GHB like Grindhouse Barbie. But GB's cute, and GB's cute for them as well, but... What is GB? Like, gay Barbie? What is that? Icicle I don't baby. Know. Icicle baby. That's not GB. Baby moment. Um, so yeah, yesterday's video, if you guys don't know, I haven't really been posting that much, or as much as usual. I mean, I still post my vlog channel, but I've been doing a lot of members only stuff, and I've been doing a lot of live chats, because, you know, I'm a live chatter now, and I have a lot of fun in there. Tonight, I'm going to be Oh, that's her new career now. She's a live chatter. Like, she own, she's going, that's the whole thing now. She just exclusively does live chats, because she's, people hate her. Do you think that she thinks she can have like a momentous return like a year from now or something and she's just going to go on maintenance mode in the live chat until then? Perhaps. Going live on my OnlyFans, that was my 18 plus live show. Um, it will be going live at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so midnight Eastern Time. What? It's a lot of fun. Do you want to watch it? I was just thinking about it. I was actually thinking about how like, she actually looks pretty hot right now. All right, take it easy. Doesn't she though? You know, I... Like she, she looks physically okay, but she's just such a bad person that she I can is, never get. She is, but she looks very erection. regular right now. I wish that she's somebody. Not done I, up I wish some crazy I, things. She's wearing like no bra with just like a regular person shirt. Sure, and her hair's a little messy. I think she actually looks hot right I now. I wish that she would twist her ankle and fall. Is that that's what I think? 
You're so annoying. I know you think she looks hot right now, though. I don't. I don't though. Maybe. Like it's not. It, I real. She's such a bad person that I, my that I honestly, I I have uh like I I, I my penis doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. We do a lot of fun chats, eighteen plus, obviously. But yeah, if you guys are interested, I'll link below my LF, So is she doing it through OnlyFans because like that's how she'll make more money, or is she going to be like doing eighteen plus stuff on OnlyFans live? No, she said eighteen plus, so I'm assuming that she's gonna do eighteen. Well, that's a good question because Trisha, I we're gonna have to review her OnlyFans, but her OnlyFans is so boring. I've, I've subscribed to it a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> See? No, no, but the first time was I when don't I think hold she's hot. Up. Listen, listen to what I have to say, you motherfucker. The first time I subscribed to it, because that was when Trisha was like a good. I thought she was a good person, so I'm like, I'll check it out, and it wasn't bad. Then she did a free deal, so I was like, I'll do it for returning subscribers. I'll do a free for a month, and I checked it out. I'm like, this is boring. She's she's just like she's not showing anything. She's not doing anything. She's just showing off her boobs, and it was, you know, she has weird nipples because of a botched tit job. So I was like, eh. She does have weird nips. Nips. Cheese nips. I like cheeses better. Okay, it's not going anywhere. I still post regularly on there and chat with you guys in the DMs. Great. Um, I will do lives regularly here. You can become a member of the channel and see members only videos, which I'm about to upload a members only video right now. Um, actually, two ready to go. So. Yeah, we'll upload one of those today. And then, if you don't know, I actually have two bonus channels. I obviously have my vlog channel, but I feel like if you know the channel, you know my vlog channel. bonus channel? channel? But, like, the Dish with Trish channel, my old podcast channel, has gotten rebranded to Trish Talks, where we do um, valuable life lessons, which honestly, I might <laughs> what, what, are you, what did you just read? What, did, what are you laughing about? <laughs> she, her channel is about having valuable life lessons. Oh, I thought you were leaving this, that somebody says, I can't believe Papa got off to Trisha. And I thought you were laughing at that. <laughs> no. I'm I didn't. Just... I never finished. There was a funny chat before, though, that said she eats so much fast food, I couldn't imagine what she smells like. <laughs> that was fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, what did she say? You know, this channel, you know, my vlog channel has been around, but, like, the Dish with Trish channel, my old podcast channel, has gotten rebranded to Trish Talks, where we do um, valuable life lessons, which, honestly, I know. <laughs> That's funny to me. Videos. What's a valuable life lesson that Trisha could genuinely give us? Don't get a tit job. Don't be mean about her boobs. I'm sorry, Trish. We could be mean about how bad of a person she is. That's true. Fair enough. Fair enough. You got a good point. I'm sorry. Sorry, Trish. <laughs> uh, maybe she can give us a life lesson on... Oh, how to seduce your teachers. Yeah. She made that video already. What do you mean, stop? She made a video about let's let's how to seduce my teacher. That's a great life lesson, Trisha. Definitely, you should definitely encourage minors to try to sleep with their teachers. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what? What are you looking at? I'm looking at the chat. Let's go. My chemical imbalance, which is my mental health podcast. Um, I'll link that below. That's on its own separate channel. It used to be my ASMR channel. And then I'll probably just post like music videos here. I don't know. Um, and She's still life, bouncing the baby. Like What'd you say? She's still bouncing the baby. Uh, do you think that's? Do you think that she's trying to bounce the baby, or do you think that she's trying to show off her boobs for her OnlyFans plug? No, she's trying to bounce the baby, being like, "I'm treating this as a real child." So that's like a surrogate child. This is going to be a new personality thing for. Well, her. no, but it's interesting because okay, so it is a new personality thing, I think, or it's at least a test for it. But what's interesting is that this is something that some people who are trans do that can't have babies. I wonder if she's trying to do it as like a trans angle or if she's just as barren inside of her womb because of... I don't think this is going to... Be a trans thing? To be a trans thing. I that's think fair. it's going to be a personality and trauma thing. Yeah, that's true. But the, she mentioned that she can't have kids though because of like a really bad that's thing, That's like right? a whole thing. Like I'm not understanding where she's at and it's such a weird she's, thing yeah. to like be like have discrepancies about. The story for the longest time was that she was infertile because she had such a severe chlamydia, like yeah, infection, yeah, I guess yeah, you would say, yeah. which like, that's fine. But now she's talked about how she wants to have a kid, like wanting to have kids. And there's like different levels of infertility. Like if we try and we can't naturally conceive, that's like infertility. Yeah, right. But, like, we she's talked to... about how like she will never, ever, ever be able to have kids herself, even with any interventions. That's what it's always sounded like to me. And now sounds she's like to me. talking about what sounds it? like God's plan. <laughs> but now she's talking about like having to lose weight to have kids and all that stuff. So it's just like I don't know. 
it doesn't make fucking sense to me. Yeah, I get that. It's just all over the place. I my random vlog channel, which I really like, and I enjoy doing so. Yeah, I'm still around, but, you know, I just... YouTube's definitely been changing, and, like, it always is, and I'll always love YouTube, and I'll always go with the changes, but, um... Yeah, it's definitely... It's definitely different now, but... So when she says it's different now, honestly, because I've been thinking about that for a little bit, I think it's different now because adults are on the the platform, and she's not an adult like at all, so she's not an. But it's becoming a more mature platform because more mature people are using it. Back in the day when she was blowing up, it was all dumb kids, and like basically the morality of the app was dictated by fucking children. Mm -hmm. And so I think that is more than anything else. Like it's changing. Like she's trying to make it seem like it's changing because it's getting bad, but I think it's just becoming a more mature platform that people are using to take it seriously. Okay. You gotta you gotta adapt because if you don't adapt, you become a dinosaur, which means you're extinct. So, anyways, <laughs> that's so telling though. She's like, if you don't adapt, you become a di- you become extinct, and nobody will want to watch you anymore. So it's not like that's just it reinforces everything that a I have to change to make sure I stay socially uh, relevant so that you'll you know I can get paid or whatever. Which I get it to an extent to like you know, but sometimes you can't fold on your moral values. But she doesn't have any moral values. But it, it just shows us that. She's a bad person. Mm-hmm. Well, I think, well, more than anything else is that she will completely go with whatever wave is happening. But we already knew that. Great weekend. Um, we got some Array Done stuff at Home Goods and some Halloween stuff at Target. I have a question for Trisha right now. What are you, what are you seeing? Like, maybe she, where, where's the schizophrenia outburst? I mean, she's looking off into the distance right now. Yeah, I wasn't watching the video. It's more of a thinking thing. Or maybe she's, because you know Moses is standing there with a knife going, don't say anything. <laughs> But it's interesting because I'm going to say this and she'll probably watch this, but Trisha has never, and this is a mama god point, Trisha has never explained to us what it means for her to have a schizophrenic outbreak. She always Noah says, this triggered a schizophrenic episode, this, this, that. Trisha, what is this schizophrenic episode? Like, what does it look like to her? Trisha, what does it mean? You say that you have auditory hallucinations, um, visual hallucinations, even smell and touch. What are they? Yeah, like what do they what manifest? Do you, as? What have you seen? Is it a reoccurring, like the same thing that you're hearing or seeing? What are the voices saying to you? What do you smell? What is that situation like? Or are you just reading what the symptoms of schizophrenia are? That's what she's doing. She's reading the symptoms of what schizophrenia are because she's never for somebody that talks about their life so much that does so many live videos with unedited. She hasn't once had any type of a schizophrenic outbreak at all. And she's never explained what it means to her to have a schizophrenic outbreak. She's a bullshitter. By the way, thank you so much for the $20, Dr. Plainview. Um, we spent yesterday saying prayers for um, the victims uh, and their families of 9-11. Okay, that's nice. I wanted to post something, but I was just, you know, I've been so scared of, like, just un- just unwarranted hate for, like, literally no reason. Just people just send... I'm laughing because she didn't post anything about 9-11, which is fine, I guess. But, but she did post about how she wasn't going to be going public anymore or whatever and it's like weird that you're like i didn't know what to put like you could have just been like oh you know that was terrible tragedy i posted that our congress is scum fuck and every single time the bill comes up for us to um continue the funding for people who contracted like different forms of fucking cancer the serve the people who saved other people in 9 11 every time that comes up they dick around and they don't care and that's really fucked up that's what I posted about because I think it's horrible that we were attacked and that our government doesn't give a fuck and they make the, they make survivors of the worst attack on American soil have to go through this waiting period and this like distress of we may not get treatment anymore. It's fucking insane. Hey, and I know whenever I post something that like shows I actually care about other people than myself, but like it's before, I, whatever. Why I disable these comments? She didn't even tweet about it. You could have just tweeted it and said like, "Hey, happy 9-11. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she could have said something. Um, but yeah, it was a really somber day. Um, watching TikToks and hearing like audio is just like a lot. But um, yeah, I hope you guys are taking time for yourself, and I hope you guys are great. And I hope you don't mind seeing Glitter Baby in a few upcoming videos. And I hate her. The Chef Fashion Nova, not sponsored. <laughs> Fashion Nova. Yeah, and we're still working on our our bedroom so it'll be good there but yeah i'll see you guys tonight if you guys want to join the live it's an 18 it's adult only it's only twitch.com 9 p.m pacific standard time and um isn't that like 12 o'clock for us 9 p.m pacific isn't that 12 she said midnight before so oh so yeah i guess it's midnight for that would be midnight for us i'm gonna be sleeping i'm a sleepy old man 
and uh, midnight Eastern time. So I'll see you guys there. Lots of love and light. Thanks, Trish. Be good Trish. to yourself. Be good to each other. Bye, guys. Say bye, glitter baby. I hate that fucking glitter baby. Oh my god, this is horrible. What a fucking waste. Eastern time. Uh, somebody. Uh, <laughs> Ella said. I think I said. Hold on, saying that right. Love and appreciate you. Watch your videos every day. Okay. I appreciate that.